only because time, money, and effort have to be appreciated, and let's just keep it real. I mean, the truth is the truth. But what we're doing is, let's say for two ninety nine. Again, it's, it's, you know, it makes me no damn difference. Just go to the ratings, the website. But then you're paying for eight. So that means it's below $49. And then the crazy one, $499. Damn. What's that? $25. So each seminar is roughly $20. But they'll be looking a little different. Now, this is just a rough overview. It might change. But the bottom line is that, regardless, we are available to you guys, and you guys are available to each other, for free. But to take this amount of time, if you would have rented the space, I think you would have made a few bucks. And again, it's not for the purpose of anything else but just being fair on both sides. Now. You have to ask yourself, and this is the last of the last, last things. Why are you doing this? If it doesn't make any sense to you, then I strongly urge you to freaking do something else. If you ask yourself, have you ever taught karate for free? Anybody? Yes. Yes, right? Okay. You taught karate for free. That means that you really like it. Right, when you take money out of the equation and you still do it, that means you really like it. And there's nothing wrong with earning money. And nobody says you got to have 300 students or even 100 students or 50 students. That's all on you. No one says that you have to follow anything specifically here, but if you follow some of it because you want to, that's fine too. We are not dictators. We are sharing. And most of the stuff we're sharing so we don't forget it. But you gotta really ask yourself why. And if for some reason the why is not good enough, then get the hell out and go do what you wanna do. Maybe you're a ballerina, damn it, go do it now. Do it now. Do what you really love now. But please, don't give me excuses, at least not to me, because I will call you full of crap. And I just may say it loud enough for other people embarrassed. But because, because I get tired. I mean, it's, I'm 42 years old now. I'm 42 years old. And I very well think that maybe I'm, I'm at least halfway done with my life. And I don't have a time to be freaking playing. Even though I love to play. Yeah! But I really have no time to be playing because any time that I spend with you, it's time I don't spend with my family. And today I dedicated quite a bit of that time to spend with your guys. And I know that you did the same thing back. Thank you. Appreciate it. But realistically, I challenge you to Man, if you can name the book, is the best. This is my challenge to you. Think big. And what? Kick ass. Hey, we can say that now, Barnes & Noble. When I say A-B, I want you guys to just say see ya. If you say A-B, see ya, it'll be wonderful. But I need my partners up here. Kiyoshi, please. Sir! Sir! Oh, man. Yeah, baby. I want you guys to stand up. Take out the Reggie. Get the leg up. Oh. <laughs> Wake the leg up. Yeah, we, don't, we haven't got the soft wood yet. You know? <laughs> we used to always end our classes with a stupid thing called a yes clap. And the reason I call it stupid, I'll tell you why. Because it looks stupid. It does. But I learned it from a multi-millionaire that had me walking on fire. Had me jumping out of planes. Sir, so what's the fair market price for this book today? $15. $15 is the price of this book, but it retails for, for how much normally? Excuse me? How much does it retail for? 10 No, that's wholesale. What do you ask me? My question is, this retails for 20 doesn't it? Yeah, for 20 20 is what it retails for. 15 is what the discount would be four, but then you, if you buy volume, it's 20. If you want to get the book, uh, 10, excuse me. If you want to get the book, and you're gonna speak to him because products and services will be rendered via you, man. You guys have ideas. Package your crap, put it together, and let us get a fair market price to resell your damn stuff. You got good ideas. I dare you to package it. You got DVDs? Come on, baby. I help you sell those things. You, man, needs to get some income to make sure that it's here for a long time. 
This is what I'm telling you. If Dumas doesn't happen now, I can't do this two years from now. Because two years from now, my wife will not allow me because Recognized Sports will be a multi-million dollar company. It's been around for 11 years. Whether people like it or not, we are the number one brand in martial arts. We got more copycats than anybody, and just like Soki Hassan Kalik said, man, I still visit stores. That's exactly right. The plan has always been there, but I could not do what I couldn't do. And I can do a heck of a lot today, just based on sticking with it for 11 years. Master Benz, Kiyoshi Colombo, today I learned so much from you guys. I took as many notes as possible. You know, and, and, I, and I just want to thank you guys because I came up with this crazy stupid thing again that I called you and you actually picked up the phone. <laughs> Colombo told me one time, listen, it seems like I'm following you freaking from here to there to there to here. I ain't doing it no more. But he's a straight man like that. And he didn't lie for, for years, nothing. I mean, not a wreck suit, you know what I'm saying? He got one guy to give it to him. <laughs> Am I lying? It's the truth. It's true. And, but, but he wanted to pay for it. I said, no. He was, let me, no, I could. I know you can't, daddy. Here, I got your size. Here, first time, I know your size. <laughs> so, so here you got a guy that is busy. He literally has been they won a, a, a Screen Actors Guild Award for a stunt work. Yes. When you look at the pictures, you're going to see guys like Chuck Zito, the, the guy that was in Oz, right, as the, the leader of the Sicilian gang, fighting there, looking like a crackhead, <laughs> as a yellow belt, in one of those pictures. Chuck Zito, who probably says, that's my instructor, because it's the truth. He also happened to be, which I didn't know this, a fireman. What? A fireman, just briefly say what that is. What is it that you do? Well, I'm a state fire instructor. Basically, I teach uh, for the Office of Fire Prevention and Control. I teach technical rescue. I teach swift water. People get trapped in the rapids. I teach swift water rescue, high angle rope rescue. Someone gets trapped on a scaffold on the side of a building. And the guy that repels over the edge, picks them off, puts them on my harness. What, what motivated you to do that? 9-11. 9-11, he said, how can I help? Right? And through the stunt business, I, I attained a lot of skills with rappelling. You know, I was rappelling out of helicopters at 300 feet long before I got involved in the fire department. And way after that happened, I says, man. How can I use this, right? How can I help? So I just want to make a difference. And so, so first, initially, volunteered. Did it for nothing. Then other instructors started seeing me doing things. And they said, hey, wait a second, are you interested in teaching? <laughs> And then one, story, one thing led to another, and here I am now, I'm an instructor. So I've been that way now for quite a while, so it's, it's exciting. And this is, this is the baby that it didn't take. Like, this is the one that they keep passing over. And we don't want this one. And he got a little bigger, and we still don't want him. He got a little bigger, we still don't want him. Until finally somebody said, man, I want you to use my name. And you said, it's too late. <laughs> You're my mom already. <laughs> you just don't know it. And I learned that about him today. You know, phenomenal. Him? And Soki Little John Davis. Well, that's amazing, isn't it? Soki, just Soki Little John. And you know, we've been training with him for so many years. And all of you, many of you have met him and trained with him and had the honor to be in his presence. But I just found out in January when he came into the school, we did a seminar. We're brothers. He's in the same social service in the same foster care system, same foster care here in Westchester in Valhalla that I went to. I says, we might be brothers. <laughs> so that's the and power, that's the power of martial arts. We, the power of martial arts. was so connected why he loved him so We much. didn't know. And it just, it took, I don't know, well over 20 years. Because to relatives you born into, but family you choose, or sometimes, you know, it, it happens. These are lost tribes, man. And we just congregate towards the people that we can relate to. That's it. Vince, why wouldn't you at age 19 dare break away from the father, which we love, and start learning how to run a karate school before you even have one. The nerve of you! How dare you! My father taught me, you know, 